or Capri Hospital can help. Just a couple of technical issues um, with our performance just prior, so we're trying to sort that out as soon as we can, and we'll bring it to you in just a tick or two. Right now, though, the disturbing photos of celebrity chef Nigella Lawson with her husband's hand around her throat in public have caused shockwaves throughout the world, with many asking why no one came to her aid. Anti-domestic violence campaigners say what's known as the bystander effect is all too common. From Safer Homes in New Zealand Every Day, we welcome Jane Drum. Nice to see you. Oh, hi, We've all seen the pictures. Um, by now, well, most of us have. But what do you make of the scene of Nigella and her husband? I found it really disturbing. Uh, quite clearly, it's it's uh, it's, it's domestic violence. Um, he put her his his finger up her nose and pulled it back. He put his hands around her throat, and um, it was clear that she was humiliated, in pain, and he was stopping the the air going into her into her lungs. Yeah. It was horrible. It was a hideous sight. It is. It's, it's, it's quite traumatic looking at them. But he's basically come out and said that it was nothing more than a playful tiff, which begs the question as to what, what, what does he call a, an argument if that's just a playful tiff? And what goes on behind closed doors? Yes, well, from our experience, when someone chokes somebody else, that's actually one of the, the most high-risk indicators that we look for when we're looking at danger and lethality. Yeah. Because do you, or in fact do I, know exactly where you might place your, uh, uh, your hands around someone's throat and how long it might take before they're dead? We don't no. know. And actually, it, it may not take very long. And um, what he's doing is, instead of coming out and saying, I... I'm deeply ashamed, I, I want to apologise to Nigella um, and to the other people who are sitting in that restaurant, uh, I've done something wrong. What he's done is tried to minimise and justify his behaviour. Do you reckon it's happened before? I and think what's the likelihood in, in this I, sort of situation? I, no one other than them knows what Obviously. goes on yep. with, with them. But I would say for someone to feel so arrogant that he doesn't really care what other people think, for him to do something like this in public, it must have gone on before. And that's the thing, it was. It was in public, it was in a restaurant, and there was obviously people around. There was somebody mm. with a long lens taking yeah. photos. Why is it that, that people didn't intervene, do you think? Well... As, as you said before, um, there's a, a well-known phenomenon called the bystander effect, and it's where there are a, a lot of people in a situation all observing some incident of some description, which may seem a little bit ambiguous. People don't know what to do, mm. and they don't like to be the first person to take action. They look for someone else to take the action. But actually, in a situation like this, they could have all been witnessing Nigella being killed or seriously hurt and so we would always say you while you are thinking about what to do while you are embarrassed and shy and nervous about what to do someone else could be being killed take action do you think had they seen him slap her punch her hit her something more obvious perhaps that they were absolutely clear-cut what he'd done do you think that might have prompted, prompted more action I think what was happening to her was plenty. Mm. And it's... Uh, Do you think it's the fact that it was her, too? That she's a celebrity? With Ma maybe, ma maybe, yes. Except that, quite likely, all that meant was more people were watching them yeah. than normal. I mean, they were tucked away, perhaps, in a, in a corner. It could well be that, in fact, more people were there to actually see exactly what did happen, which was horrible. She what, was clearly upset. What do you suggest would have been the best thing to have done in that situation? Okay. Um, mm. Domestic abuse situations are volatile, and, and in most situations you don't know the people. Keep uh, some distance, mm. go over, and in this country we know what to say. You go over and you say, what you're doing is not okay, or Nigella, are you okay? Get other people up. Drawing attention to it. Yell. Yell from a distance if you feel like it. Call the police. Tell the management in the restaurant to call the police. 
take some action and make it loud and make it visible. Yeah, do something. Do it? something. Do something. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in. Good stuff, nice to see you. For more information about the work of Safer Homes in New Zealand every day, you can visit.